Hello, hello, good people, and welcome to another live stream. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Let's get a let's get a little wave in chat going. You guys can hear me. Let's get a little wave, a little hello in chat. How are we all doing on this fabulous fabulous Friday? Let's get some waves in chat there. Let's see if I see some of these regular people here. I haven't seen in a while. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. Let me know how the mic's volume is and the music volume is. Uh, if it's too loud, too low, let me know. It's been a few months. Yes, it has been, Mr. Blob, correct. Cool. So we are going to get started very shortly here. Uh, we've got a nice little mission that we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be taking my Twinada. All the way from Creative Island, uh, stopping off at Multiplayer Islands, heading over to Soy Islands, and then all the way up to the Arctic this time around. It should be quite a nice little flight to get there. And I'm actually going to, uh, I think I'm going to use Joystick for this one. This is going to be an interesting uh, first time using Joystick here in Stormworks. So it'll be quite fun. Cool, just getting set up with the Joystick here. Let's get everything going. Sorry if the mic's a little bit loud. Cool. Joysticks in place. We can get going. Let's get a let's get a heart in chat if everyone's looking forward to a major update coming in four weeks. And you got four weeks for version one of Stormworks. What a road it's been. What, two years, two and a half years, three years now? Finally getting version one here in Stormworks. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait for all these features that we're getting. Yeah, you can use a joystick here in Stormworks. Of course you can. I'm going to do one right now. I'm going to fly my plane with a joystick. Cool. Remember guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, get all the notifications. Trust me, there is going to be a lot of content coming around second week of September. Just as a heads up, a lot of content coming. So definitely if you haven't subscribed subscribe now be sure to click that little bell icon you are going to get overloaded with content in the second week of september it's going to be awesome okay let's get going so cool k james 45 thanks for the sub man let's appreciate it cool let's get going here i'm just gonna go and switch over to uh let's see let's switch over to the game Cool. So it still works live and let's get going here. Let's bring chat so I can see you guys. I want to know what you guys are saying here. What joystick do I use? I use the uh, Thrustmaster X something or the other. It's the only one that was in stock, but it's good. Stormworks with this New Jersey live. Of course, man. I have to have, to have Stormworks live. It's been a while. I haven't done a live stream in ages. Thought it'll be time. Um, might do a couple live streams this weekend, uh, but you guys let me know in chat if we should do them. Um, tell us about the instrument lure panels of Penguin O. Uh, which is what? How does it work? Uh, it's lure. I've got a video on this if you want to watch the video. I've built the plane in a video. So let's just get the game up and running here, guys. You guys should see it. Um, should be all running. Get a little bit of volume here. Cool, we might need to lower the volume a little bit later during the stream. But we'll see how we get on. Um, cool. So we are here at the Creative Island. We have the Twin Otter spawned in here. We've got some cargo that we're going to be picking up. Uh, that right, US, thanks very much, man, for that little super chat. Much appreciated. Uh, so, guys, we have some cargo here at the Creative Base that we're going to be picking up. Uh, by the way, let me know if the music is too loud. We can turn the music down, guys, if you want me to. Uh, we're going to be picking up some cargo here at the creative base and heading over to multiplayer island got some cargo there uh, we need to make another stop at the soy islands uh, i think it's o'neill we need to pick up some cargo there and then we're going to make the long trip up to the arctic now i haven't done a full flight in this plane up to the arctic i think the fuel is going to be fine uh, if we gauge it right here um but yeah should be good should be good i think we have enough space in the plane too for cargo uh thanks guys for the subs there much appreciated uh adrian anderson thank you very much man for the sub 
much appreciated. Uh, cool. We are going to also be doing a full starting up of the plane. I uh, will get the turbo props going. I uh, will get the navigation systems going. I said I'm flying with a joystick, so we're going to be doing taking off landings with joysticks. Uh, it's going to be quite fun. Uh, and we also need to put the cargo in. Uh, so we'll do the full nuts, the full five yards. I am not touching any of the override times or whether everything is natural. So Stormworks is going to decide on our time. So we will be flying at night eventually. Uh, and hopefully we might get a little bit of rain and some wind uh, coming through later on also. So we don't know how the flight's going to go. Uh, obviously, if we were in Stormworks version 1 right now, we would have the new weather system that would be running around. Um, so that would be awesome if we did have the new weather system, but we don't uh, until, for another four weeks until we get version one. Um, cool. Hey, everyone that's joining now in chat. Nice to see everyone. Yes. Thanks, guys, for the subs. Much appreciated, as always. Astro, thanks for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Cool. Let's go and get in the plane. Um, joystick is on. Um, we can enable it. You guys can see here if I put the joystick mode on, I can actually control the game using the joystick which is pretty cool uh so yeah let's get in the plane let's get going we need to obviously get the plane going first and here's my lovely little twinata uh let's get a thumbs up and chat if you guys have tried this plane uh, and like it i love it i've had a lot of fun building it uh i think it's really cool and it's not something i've really seen on stormworks to play in the size with this much stuff in it uh cool so let's get some cargo loaded in here so we have these two crates here at the creative that we need to get loaded in and then we also have two crates at multiplayer and two crates over at um soya so we'll get us some cargo loaded in there to get that closed off let's jump inside and let's go inside here cool and lights are off because obviously we don't have any power so let's head into the cockpit here cool so we need to get our systems up and running in this plane so we need to get avionics on we also need to get our battery on so that gives us all of our avionics and our screens here uh, before we get everything started i just wanted to start checking everything we need some beacon lights navigation lights strobes uh, we'll get some wheel landing. We don't need left wing or right wing. Cockpit lights. Uh, let's get a nice low white light. Uh, ground steering we will need. Radio is set and ready to go. Flaps we can leave. Engine will, we won't start yet. Uh, beacons we don't need. Reserve battery we don't need. Flare we don't need. Altitude I'm going to start off by doing 100... Um, 100 meters uh, while we take off here and we head over to the multiplayer island. Uh, let's just have a look. So we got our radar. Uh, engine is good. Fuel we'll see once we get flying. Electric battery is 96. We're good with that. Uh, cameras are fine. I am going to set this screen on my navigation and then this screen I uh, will set on my nose or take off. And let's start setting up some waypoints here. So we are going to be flying out of the Creative Island straight up. Uh, so that's going to be our first waypoint. So let's get that into our system here. Cool. And then we're going to be flying. So we need to go ahead over there. So let's do a loop to about there. Get the second waypoint in. Cool. So we've got two waypoints now. Uh, we'll then do a loop to about there. Get the third waypoint in. And let's get the fourth to about there. And then we'll come in for a landing at the multiplayer island. Cool. So those should all be set now. So we should be able to zoom out and see those waypoints on our map. So there's waypoint one. And if we keep on zooming out, we should be able to go and see all the waypoint two. And yeah, and then we can see obviously all the rest of our waypoints here. So we're going to be following our waypoints out of here. Uh, we'll do obviously a manual takeoff to start with, and then we'll get our altitude hold on. I'm going to disable the flight stabilizer because I'm doing a joystick flight here. Um, cool. Alt hold and system hold we don't need until we're up in the air. So we're pretty much good and set to take off here. So let's get some engines going. So start our engines and before we take off i'm just going to catch up with chat here uh chat what's going on you guys are really busy in there initial yeet hey what's going on man 
welcome 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 to the stream uh when did i build this plane i built it a few weeks ago i got a whole build series on this plane if you guys want to go check it out on all the systems and how i put the systems in here uh it's a lot of fun it is a lot of fun building this plane i enjoyed it i have another version by the way um so i think some of you might have seen it in some screenshots but it's a cool version cool so let's go and um get some we got engines running so that's fine i'm happy with the engines let's check the engines there that is fine we don't need any uh cabin lighting today uh oh we do need to go and put the no smoking and seatbelt sign on that is important so if there were any passengers they don't smoke and they have their seatbelts on um cool let's get our engine throttle up a bit we'll get to about 10 i think will be more than enough for our takeoff here uh, let's just go and check our systems here. So let's check our joystick mode on. Cool. And we should be able to turn. Yeah, we can turn our wheels here. Let's give some throttle. Actually, let's just check our flaps first. I just want to check all of our flaps are working as intended. So turning is working. That's fine. Uh, what about... Yep, you're on the joystick is fine. That's happy with that. Pitch is working on the joystick yep that's all cool great and then i should also be able to look around on the joystick so we can create these awesome little montages here with the joystick great and then i also got the brakes hot keyed on the joist on the throttle controller that i have so i can just go and click my brakes on and off as we need it cool so let's go and start taxiing out of here so i'm going to give a little bit of throttle here bring that up on our Actually, we probably want to bring down our throttle here for taxiing. Yeah, let's bring that down for taxiing. Okay, let's go and get a little bit of throttle. There we go. We are now moving. Okay, probably not that much throttle. Let's get some brakes here. It's probably a little bit too much. Cool, let's go and kill our throttle here. That was probably way too much. Didn't need that much throttle. That's fine. Let's go and just get our little throttle here and we'll take off very shortly. Okay, so let's get brakes off and let's go and get our throttle up. We'll do a turn also. There we go. And let's head out. Nice. Oh, we can go and see there. We have a little bit of a way to go there. So we are up now. We can probably set our autopilot stuff on. Now that we're up in the air and we're good to go. So let's go and put our altitude hold system on, which is going to about 100. What just happened? That was a fail of note. Okay, I guess we're restarting this one. <laughs> let's get an F in chat for that one, guys. Big F in chat for that one. I don't know what happened. I must have done something there. Big F in chat. It just didn't like it. So let's go and restart this. <laughs> let's go and put some cargo in again. And we'll get our systems up and running. That was a huge fail. Possibly because I didn't have my flight stabilizer on. Maybe it just wasn't happy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> big f in chat for that one uh let's go and jump in the plane let's get everything up going again so i'm just gonna get joystick mode off and let's remember this time to put my flight stabler back on before we <laughs> enable the autopilot and everything so let's get our let's see we need battery on and let's get our avionics we need our snow smoking seat belts we need our engine started we need some Okay, why am I moving? That was interesting. I guess it's because of the joystick. Uh, cool, let's get our altitude hold set to... Let's do 400 this time. Uh, actually, no, 200. I think we'll be fine. We're going to disable our flight stabilizer when we take off here. We have our beacon navigation strobe and wheel learning lights on. Throttle's good. I'm happy with everything else so far. We seem to be moving forward for some reason. That is interesting. I think it, once again it's something to do with something to do with the um, joystick here. But that's fine. We're okay. 
we can manage it. Okay, so let's get our waypoints back on. So we're going to be heading out to about there. And we can get our waypoints going in there. So waypoint 1. Let's get waypoint 2 to about there. And then let's actually just go into our mission and just make sure we've toggled our Arctic flight here. Uh, we'll get another waypoint about there, I think. And we'll send one last waypoint to start off with now, just before Multiplayer Island, about there, I think. So that should be fine. So that's our four waypoints in there. That should be fine. Before we take off, let me just catch up with chat. <laughs> I do. It's just the first time I'm using a controller. Um, I'm using a joystick and a controller for the throttle, so it's the first time I've ever done it. I don't know how it changes things normally, so... I'm still testing, but it's fun. It's it's an experiment, guys. That's the whole point of this, is it's a, an experiment. Uh, we need some cockpit lights on. Uh, cool. So, in theory, we should be fine to go now. Should. Uh, we do have our brakes on, so that's fine. We are going to just go and get our brakes off. And let's just try and see if we can taxi out a bit here. Joystick on. Gonna let us move forward. Yeah, there we go. So we can actually move forward now. Let's bring our throttle down a bit. And let's get lined up on the runway here. Cool. And brakes on. Uh, we need to look at that. Joystick is very sensitive. Um, okay, I'm gonna get joystick. We'll keep on for now. And let's get our throttle built up here. And then let's go and take that off, throttle off, and we should be able to take off soon. Yep. There we go. And we can then fly out. Nice. Okay, so this is joystick flying here in Stormworks. Something I haven't done before, so it's quite interesting. Um, we can obviously go and do the roll on either side. And we can also do the turning, which is pretty cool. So yeah, quite nice. Okay, so let's go and set our waypoints here. So I'm actually going to just disable our thing and we're going to make sure our altitude hold is actually going to work this time. Why is it going straight into the ground again? That is very interesting. Oh, flight, flight stabilizer. That, that is exactly why. I forgot to put the stuff flight stabilizer on last time. Same problem I had this time. Uh, let's get autopilot system on and let the plane fly itself here. So the plane's going to fly, it's going to do its waypoints, um, which is perfect. We have to go over to Multiplayer Island just now and pick up that one. So we're just doing a nice little dream around there. We can probably get our landing light off, I think, is a good one. And there we go. And now I can catch up with chat because the plane is going to fly itself at 200 altitude. So we should be fine now, uh, just for me to catch up on chat here. Um, cool so thank you love my plane thank you very much appreciate that need an alarm yeah i know that 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 disable that's a good idea to get like an alarm on that disable flight thing uh stabilizer because that is not good that i turned it off and i forgot about it because that obviously without a flight stabilizer the the autopilots and the alt hold don't know what to do uh it's getting darker really quickly here in stormworks though um yeah, I would love to do it on a multiplayer server. I'm, I'm going to try it out sometime. Um, and we'll see. Geronimo, uh, I enjoy your channel, sir, and appreciate your professional, professionalism. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. Nicholas Mounte, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we are flying over here. We're going to be going into um, multiplayer island shortly. Let's actually just clear the waypoints here. Uh, so we're is coming in we're going to bank into the next waypoint and it's getting very dark here in stormworks all of a sudden and because we're going to go in for landing soon i'm going to get our all our landing lighting on as you can see here we've got our landing lighting which is pretty nice and we've got our interior cockpit lights heaters have turned on because apparently it's too cold let's just have a look at our i do want to check our actual use of fuel here and how we are getting on so we have 56 minutes of range that's not good 
uh, we probably can drop that down and get a little bit more fuel out of this because I don't think 56 minutes is going to be enough to get up to the Arctic. So we'll have to play with the fuel here and try and see if we can get it to be a little better for ourselves. Uh, we're coming up to, we still have two waypoints left. There is the airport that we're going to be landing at. I don't see any runway lights just yet. It could be because I've got the beacons on. Okay, I am going to disable everything now and I'm going to switch back over to joystick mode and we're going to go in for a landing here soon. So let's just do one fly over and see where we are. Um, is that MacBain or MacBone? Thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated. So I'm just doing one flyby. I want to see where the airstrip is. I don't see. I see a little bit of lights there, not much. So let's go and just do a quick flyby and see more or less where we are in terms of the airstrip. Okay, so the airstrip is there, so we can probably do a nice little turn here. And then we'll do another turn, a bank around, and we'll come in and probably just level this out a bit. Cool, and we're going to come around again. You can see the airstrip just there. Cool. Great, okay. So let's go and start making our turn here. So I'm just going to go to the right a bit. I'm also going to decrease our throttle ever so slightly. And then I'm going to do a bank to the left here. I'm also going to get the brakes on now. Oh, actually, no, I'll leave the brakes off. We can put the brakes on once we're on the ground. So let's do a nice turn here. And where is the airstrip? I think I should have done enough turn. Let's see, where is the airstrip? should be just over there okay so we actually didn't make a big enough turn because the airstrip is just over there on the left edge as you guys can see uh yeah we need to i think we're going to head around again so i'm just going to put the full throttle again and let's just do another loop so we'll do a nice quick turn we'll get a little bit of away from the airport and start doing our approach so apparently on our fuel now we're about we got 150 minutes on our fuel or 62 now apparently so it's gonna be quite interesting okay so keep ourselves level why are we dropping that much altitude okay that's fine uh, let's start making our turn around start turning ourselves here ADG, thanks for the sub, man. Much appreciated. Okay. Okay, let's just do this sharp turn here, and we're going to go in for a landing this time. Okay. Let's go and bring her around, and we'll try and line her up with the runway soon. And then we'll start bringing our throttle down when we get a little bit closer. Okay, let's get throttle down. The throttle is now down. Brakes on. Okay, cool. So we have landed. Brakes are on. Uh, let's take brakes off. And let's start just moving a little bit forward here. We're just going to decrease our throttle. Or taxi. I could change this plane and actually make it much better for a controller, I think. Um, but for well, now, it's fine. And I guess hardly anyone plays with a controller, I think, on Stormworks. So let's just make a taxi over to the hangar here. We'll go pick up our cargo and then we'll be taking off and we're heading towards the Sawyer. Let's go and give it a little bit of brakes. Let's ease it in here. Cool. Let's go and bring ourselves a little bit closer to the hangar here. Cool. So we can see the cargo just here on our left. 
let's go and bring our throttle down let's go and get our brakes on cool so we'll leave the plane here for now uh throttle is down and our clutch is off so we should be fine we shouldn't be really moving uh we are set i'm going to actually clear all the waypoints before we take off for our next flight um should leave the stabilizer on let's go and get out and we need to start loading some cargo in the lights in the cabin are on let's go and get some cargo in here so we've got two crates already, so we might actually need to do a little bit of management, cargo management inside there, just make sure we've got the space. So let's just pick that up. And let's just go and see if we can put some cargo here at the back. Doesn't look like we've got that much space in here, but we'll manage, we'll figure it out. Don't know if we're going to fit six crates in here though, but uh, we'll make it work somehow. Let's go and get those crates, I think they are just over here. If need be, we can always put some, I guess, in the back, if we can. I don't know if we can even fit crates in there. We can't. Okay. Uh, let's go. And we're going to have to do two trips then to get all that cargo. Because these crates are quite bigger than from what I remember. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, let's go and get that in our plane here. I don't know if that's going to fit. But, uh, hey, you should be inside there. Let's see if that fits. Oops, oh, something's weird happening. Okay, you can go in. And then, can you close? Yeah, it's kind of in there. It's not that happy. That it's a little bit squashed. <laughs> but it's fine. I don't know where we're going to put the extra cargo, to be fair. There is no space in that plane. So, that's going to be interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we're we're just going to do a flyby of the Soya, and we're going to leave the cargo there. Uh, let's go and just move ourselves here. Uh, we can probably close that. And uh, let's close this. Cool. And uh, let's get back in our plane. Before we take off here, I'm just going to catch up with the chat and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, I landed. Yes, I did. I should have used the tracker. What do you mean, the tracker? Um... Cool, okay. I probably should have used a better plane, to be honest. Fuel's still good. We've got plenty of time with our fuel here, so I'm not really too worried. Uh, will I review new mods? Well, if we get a go-ahead from the devs saying that the mods are fine, then yeah. But at the moment, as far as I'm aware, the mods can damage your game and damage your creations and will not be compatible with version 1. Uh, so until we, get a, until we get a green light and official response from the devs, uh, we... I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be trying that, to be fair. But uh, that's my opinion. And obviously everyone's got their own opinion. But yeah. A jet version of this plane would be epic. Yeah, it could be. Uh, you should make a cargo variant. Yeah, no, I should make a cargo variant. No, I should. I think I might do the Arctic one. I have an Arctic plane like this. That uh, I might convert into a cargo version. Um, but we'll see. Uh, can't you go back and try shuffling them i don't think so because their their height is yeah they're they're just like squashed in there so i'd love to put some in here but we just don't have the space for it uh and i don't want to obviously put this plane back into like a respawn area although we could we could leave this plane over at uh the sawyers and get a new plane and maybe just like strip out the seats that could be possible i guess we could just open up this area here strip the seats out and put some more cargo. Actually, hold on. I could get cargo in here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it would fit. I don't think three blocks is enough for that cargo. I think it needs four. Uh, let's get some waypoints set up. So we've done the multiplayer island. We now need to head over to Sawyer. So coming out, we're going to be taking off and heading in that direction. So let's go and put that into our waypoints for our flight systems and then once we're there we're probably going to do a nice straight flight over there so we'll get that into our waypoint system two and then we're going to come down for a landing over there after our waypoint so that's fine altitude i'm going to set ourselves up at around 400 now uh considering that um we're doing a little bit of a longer flight here and yeah we're pretty much good to go can probably get the brakes off and start taxiing out so let's go and use the controller again. 
So let's get our throttle up a bit here. Sounds like one of our engines are having a little bit of a hard time. Okay, maybe it's too low on throttle, so we'll get the throttle up. Okay, let's try now. It's going to be a little bit happier with us. Brakes are off. We are moving. Cool. Let's go and just position the plane, and we're going to do a nice taxi out. Okay, let's get the throttle down here. And we're just going to go and taxi out. Cool. If I could actually see where the taxiway is, this is the hardest thing here. So let's just get the brakes on here before I just want to see where the heck we are. I think the taxiway is just over there. So cool. We're more or less on, on track here. So let's just go and give our throttle here. Brakes off again. I think we need to go in that direction. I think. Let's reposition my mouse here. I think we're going in the right way. I can't really see with this light. There we go. Okay, so that's where... Ooh, wait. No, no, no. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Okay, let's carry on moving down this way. Probably need some brakes soon. Okay, ground control, to be honest, is much easier with a keyboard and a mouse, I find. Um, it's just in this plane, or at least, at least how I designed it. I think if I was designing this for a joystick, it would probably be a little bit different than how it reacts I don't know how much more we have to taxi so I'm just being a little careful with the throttle here I don't want to overshoot I've got my finger on the brakes ready to do like a sharp brake turn here just in case because I don't know where that when this is going to end this taxiway I think it's going to end very shortly yep there it is okay so let's just go and move out. Do a turn here to the left. And keep on turning. And we'll do another turn onto the runway here. Cool, there's the runway just over there. Get lined up there. Cool. Great. And I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get our brakes on. Okay, uh, now that we're on the runway, we can probably get some throttle up. So let's get our throttle up to about 10. Cool. Our uh, flight stabler is on this time, so we're going to keep it on. That has been set. Our waypoints have been set. We are pretty much ready to take off here. So let's get brakes off. Were they off? Yeah, they are now off. Yeah. Throttle up. Start turning the aircraft, getting lined up here. Keep her down, and she just wants to he head up. She's got that much power. Cool. Great, so we can just take off here. Yeah, a little bit to the leaning to the right. I think that's the cargo in the back. Cool. So we can go now and actually get back control. So we are going to go disable our joystick. Let's go and give the system our alt hold. So we should be climbing, and let's give it our altitude system, and autopilot systems. And we should now be climbing and going to our position. We can get our landing lights off. Happy days. We'll probably get our throttle down too. Conserve a little bit of our fuel. Now we have 220 minutes, 227 minutes of fuel left. That's perfect for this flight here. So we got, what, 25 Ks until we go to, until we hit over to the Soyuz. It looks like I don't have enough throttle, so I'm just going to go and pick that up a bit. Okay, that looks like we're keeping our altitude now. Yeah, 329, 340. Yeah, it's going to keep on climbing until it gets about 400. Okay, we just hit our first waypoint, and it's already starting to get daytime. Okay, thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. See you, is there. Thank you. Cool. Chad, how are we doing? What's going on? What's this whole Obamacare? Thing going on um, cool how is everyone doing in chat today it's already daytime we've already gone through one day here in stormworks they really need to extend the times here in stormworks is like way too short for a day way too short i know you can i think you can adjust it if you go into the xml save you can adjust the save times here um 
but I didn't I didn't go into the save of this one and change it. Environment's a bit loud. Okay. Adjust it. There we go. Always adjust the game. It's perfectly fine. Uh, Francesco Sariski. Nah. Thank you very much for the two years, man. A small tip from Italy. Thank you very much, man. Thanks for the little tip there. Much appreciated. Cool. So we got uh, 20, 21 Ks left until we get there. We're not going that fast, uh, considering we are running at a really low RPS. Uh, we got tons of range left, though. Tons of range. But uh, we are going a little bit slower than what I would usually run at. But we're not doing too bad. Cool. Cake, thanks very much for the sub, man. And also, Francesco, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated, as always. Cool. You probably should be going to bed, Monkey Lee. Well, yeah, if you're going to bed, go to bed, man. Otherwise, stay and watch. It's up to you. We've got a little bit of a flight left to go still. Uh, and then I think at, towards the end of the stream, guys, guys I'm going to show you one of my vehicles I've been working on that uh, I haven't... No one's actually... Well, you guys have, might have seen some screenshots, but I'm going to show you one or two of my vehicles. Um, increase speed. Okay. Yeah, I can increase speed. Of course I can. There we go. Get there a little bit quicker now. Not too quick. Twin is not the quickest of planes, but that's go quite nicely. Doing 100, 130 knots can increase it more, but we're not going to get that much. 140, but then look at our range. Our range drops hectically, so that's why I run this at I run it at like t 8 to 10. Because we don't lose that much speed. We lose, what, 20 knots? 20, 20, yeah, about 20 knots. And we gain a huge amount of range on this plane. That's why I run it, I run it a little bit less. Plane looks good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. So we're coming up to Soya now. Uh, we're just going past one of the airstrips you can see over there. Uh, and then we're going to go past over to over the mountain range which side of okay so we're coming in from the west side if i'm correct of the west side of of the soya islands north terminals over there and then you know you got the one airstrip there you got the other airstrip which is behind that mountain range and then mount goldberg and i think this is mount toddy on my right if i'm correct i uh, i think you need to refuel before heading to the arctic you think so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll land. Well, let's land at... Um, let's go and land at um, the airstrip here. We'll see how much fuel we've consumed and then how much we have. Now, the Arctic is 100 k's away. I think I'll get there easily. I think I'll get there easily. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let's get a vote. Let's get a vote going in chat. Yeah? If I'm going to make it there or not. Yeah? How about that? Vote in chat, let me know, am I going to make it to the Arctic or am I not going to make it to the Arctic with the fuel that I have left? Thumbs up if you think I'm going to, thumbs down if you don't think I'm going to. Let's see what's going on here. Noah, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated, as always. What kind of joystick do I use? I use a Thrustmaster. Refuel. Everyone says refuel and go faster. It's only 20 knots. It's only 20 knots. It's not like super fast that we're that we're going to do. I'm just worried about clearing this mountain range with the current altitude that we're going. Um, I think I am going to go and disable our systems here, and I'm going to go and take manual control back, uh, and we are going to go and fly the plane myself here. I'm just going to bring down our pitch here and we are going to do a joystick landing into the airbase just over on the right hand side there which should be quite cool quite interesting actually nice got a beautiful view over the mine and also whole town just over there absolutely stunning 
cool let's go and get our angles up here and we're just going to go and do a loop around because as you can see we just need to go to the right there so we're going to start dropping some altitude um i possibly actually could get the flaps up um to break some speed here because we are doing what, what speed are we doing here uh 120 knots so we could possibly try to drop some speed here we're going to go and start making our turn to the right And you can see the airstrip just coming into view on our right hand side here. Probably need to start leveling ourselves out, I think. And there we go, we can probably start dropping our throttle ever so slightly. Cool, and we're now coming up nice and lined up for that airstrip. We could switch to third person, as you guys can see here. But I think I'm pretty much fine as I am. It's a pity I've got a window in, in blocking my view here, but um, that's okay. Let's go and get our throttle all the way down here. Get our landing. We're gonna have to bring our throttle down again. And let's start bringing it down. Let's start bringing our nose up. There we go. Nice landing. We can actually just go and move ourselves straight out and taxi. Almost straight to the hangar there. Awesome. That was pretty good. Let's get our throttle up here just a bit for taxiing. Okay, and uh, now that we're a little bit closer, I'm just going to go and right get our throttle down to about 4.3. I think will be fine for us to taxi. Just over there, let's get our brakes off. That's brakes. Those brakes off now. Cool. Move forward a bit. Cool. we can just taxi over there get a little bit close to the hang because i might want to refuel okay let's get our throttle down and let's get our brakes on cool so that's pretty cool uh i am going to leave the engines running i think for now i'm pretty happy with everything else i'm going to clear the waypoints though out of the gps everything else is fine at the moment we can leave everything running we'll just get the engines down a little bit on our throttle Get our joystick off actually no we need the engines running a little bit higher throttle uh we got more than enough time on that that's fine um just trying to think how we're going to get these crates into the plane because i don't think they fit in here no they won't fit in there and they don't fit in these doors and that's full so these this cargo is gonna get stuck here unfortunately um let's see Let's go and open this and let's see if we can actually get some fuel. Don't know if that will reach my fuel tanks. We can check. Actually, let's. I wanted to check my fuel level and see where we are. So we've used one quarter of a tank to go 20Ks. We have 100Ks to go. Do you guys think we should refuel? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we refuel? Should we not? I'm not too sure if we should refuel or not. Let's... Uh, cake, thank you very much, man, for the two euros. Nice landing, greetings from Finland. Hey, well, welcome and hello to Finland. Um, guys, let me know in chat. Shall we refuel or shouldn't we? I think we can. Let's see if we can get the hose there. We have diesel that we need for those engines. So... Let's see if we can get that. I don't know how long it's going to take for the pump to get there. Let's see. Don't know if this is this going to reach. It should. It's a big. It's a big winch. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh no, it just stopped. <laughs> Me saying that and it just went and stopped. Um, okay, yeah, that should be fine. Let's go and refuel. Cool. Okay, we're refueling. Hopefully that's got enough fuel in it. I should do. All the, these wings, guys. So, how about this? This wing is two blocks two blocks deep, yeah? So you guys can see that. One, two blocks. You know what I want to know all the fuels? The fuels in this wing. Yeah, these are normal blocks. Normal blocks in here. And the fuels in there. I've done that, and you can see the fuel just over there. It's, we're using the wedge blocks all through there. And we've got holes in the wedge blocks going along the wings. 
and that's how we're storing all the fuel up there quite cool no so all the fuels up in the wings the radiators here the engines here everything for our engines are in the wings there is nothing in the fuel silage fuel silage is just the fuel silage which is pretty cool there's nothing in here there's no fuel there's no engines there's no nothing in there it's just over here this is everything which is quite nice okay um looks like we're pretty much done with our fuel so we're gonna go and disconnect cool and let's go and get back in the plane and we need to start heading up to the arctic here because it is starting to get night time now oh that's the lights i didn't mean to change the lights those doors okay so we've got that we can't take the cargo unfortunately uh, if we have time we might do another loop around let's start setting our pilot system so it's going to get our landing lights and takeoff lights on uh so we are currently here we're going to go and hit out on the runway we're going to go in this direction so we'll set our first waypoints just over there we're doing that and so we'll set our first waypoints just over there by north terminal and then we're going to head out to about there as our second waypoints and then we're going to do a straight flight up to the arctic to around there i think and then we'll do manual control from there on forth so we've got three waypoints nothing crazy obviously we can go and see them if we go and zoom out here and we can start seeing our waypoints which is pretty cool obviously there's first waypoints and we can keep on zooming out and see our second waypoints and so on and so forth um cool i'm pretty happy with that let's go altitude 400 we're probably going to do a 600 altitude for this long trip uh everything else is set time is good airspeed's good rain temperature fog nothing we're all good with that lights are all active no smoking signs on intercom we don't need engine starts that's fine we're going to do taxi out soon our radio systems are on and running engines are good cool let's do some taxi out so get joystick back on get the brakes off and let's get our throttle up and let's try and turn out of here try to at least I really need to put some reverse thrusters on this plane I think oh sorry it's gonna go and turn over here and we'll just go and taxi to the right and we're going to be actually no we need to taxi to the left don't we my bad we need to taxi to the left because we're taking off to the right Okay, so let's just go and do a turn here. We should still have enough. Yeah, we should be able to make that taxiway there. Cool, let's just go and angle it again. And let's just go down this taxiway here. Let's keep on going. Cool, we okay, throw it up. We can move down the taxiway a little bit quicker than what we usually do. Then we've got quite a lot of a long taxiway we need to get down. Cool, we'll just keep on going straight here. Uh, I think we need to turn very shortly, so I'm just going to get rid of the throttle for now, just until I know where we're turning. There we go, we can start making our turn. Give a little bit of throttle, just to get around this corner. And then we can get lined up on the runway very shortly here. Well, you can see the runway there. We're going to get lined up here and then we'll go and we'll get ready to take off. So let's get our throttle down. Let's go and get our brakes on. Okay, we are good to go here. Let's make sure everything's good. We are going to go and disable our ground steering. Uh, we're going to get our throttle back up now. Let's get to about 10. I think we'll be fine. We are going to leave our flight stabilizer on and we are going to go and take off our brakes off. Roll up. I'm going to use the joystick here just to take off. Should have more than enough space to take off. It's very sensitive. Wow. Okay, and we've just taken off there. Nice, nice, easy taking take off. Nice and simple. Go start climbing to our desired altitude here, which is um, we're at 60 now. I think I said about 500. So we just keep on climbing here. You kind of see stormworks here in the background. Absolutely stunning on the Soy Islands. We're going to get our takeoff and landing lights off very shortly. So let's go and 
get out of there and let's get our joystick off and let's go and get our lights for takeoff and landing off let's get our altitude hold systems on we're going to go about 600 altitude current we're sitting around 300 so we're going to keep on climbing here and we'll get our autopilot systems on at the same time it seems that we're going to be getting there soon and we can go to third person now and i am actually going to go and disable the toggle active and that way we don't get all the annoying little things on the screen so we're still climbing we've just hit our altitude we've just hit our waypoint and now we're off to the rest of the waypoints here uh this plane is pretty much good to fly i'm just concerned on the fuel range currently we're around what 149 so i am probably going to just go and decrease our pitch to about 60 70 percent that should be enough there let's see yeah so we've got 97 minutes of flight range which should be fine our speed is on 126 um which is perfect 100 minutes yeah we should be more than enough fine on our fuel range here um to get to the arctic everything else all of our other systems are fine we're heading at three uh three four six heading our heaters are running going on because it is a little bit cold here in Stormwix uh at this altitude uh and we're pretty much good here we could actually just sit back and have a little sleep why are we leaning to the right though could be the cargo we are leaning a little bit to the left sorry must be the cargo it's the only thing i can think of possibly we'll see we'll see but we seem to be fine now we've got 97 minutes left on that we've got 92 91 k's uh so that's fine we should be pretty golden there i like how dark it is yeah it is quite dark here and still works let me just check the i just want to check the engine temperature here because i just want to see what the engine temp is so let's go back here so fuel's good uh ooh. we are eating the fuel though let's get that done that should be fine now yeah there we go so i've just decreased that by like a one rps and we've gotten tons of fuel left now um okay let's go back and let's just see engines temperatures 45 degrees on both the engines i'm happy with that uh and electricity we are 100 percent the generators are producing five watts of electricity each so I'm happy with that. Um, and probably just get our brakes on actually. Brakes are one, get brakes on. And you can see out the windows and on the cameras there. Radar is running, or well, not running, but it's there. If we need it, so let's go back to our fuel and just keep an eye on our fuel there. Uh, and then our map is currently running. We'll obviously zoom out if we need to. Uh, and we got a beautiful view of Stormworks here in the background. So now we got the nice long trip up to the Arctic. You can see the beacon lights and strobe lights, everything working underneath there, really quite nice. Cool. Uh, wind tie coming up on our left, actually. Mm, nice. Cool. So we're just going to leave that to fly and we catch up with chat, see what you guys are going on. Uh, hey, Josie, were you talking about a GPU upgrade? Yeah, I am looking at GPU. You can either uh, go top of the line with the 30 series coming out, or you can use about uh for your use case uh 2068s or 27s more than enough yeah um i'm waiting for the 30 series we should get we should have an announcement what in about nine days time uh for the new 30 series i've already got like literally as soon as it comes available i'm purchasing one um i don't know which one because i don't know which versions we're getting and what's the performance going to be like but i'm waiting for the new 30 series um and i would consider going amd but the only thing is that nvidia brings so much to the table when it comes to streaming and um, video editing in terms of performance uh with its nvec encoder and stuff so i'm probably going to stay with nvidia so i'm really excited um am i excited for version one yeah i am man version one's going to be awesome version one's got so many cool features coming really cool like dynamic weather come on that's like just for dynamic weather i'd be excited we've got so many other things handheld items dynamic weather new components all kinds of cool things kathy hey what's going on welcome 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 um so we'll see we'll see okay 
Did I build a plane? Yes, I did. I did indeed build a plane. Um, what are my PC specs? I have a... It's in the video description, by the way, if you want to check. But um, Ryzen 3700X, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, a G GeForce GTX 980, uh, big fat 280mm water cooler, uh, a nice fractal case, a Acer Predator monitor, and a few other things dotting around the place. Just to name a few. Um, stop. Why is Altitude telling me to stop? I'm following my waypoints? I'm doing fine, man. I think uh, Mr. Blob needs to take care of that. Okay, let's just disable our waypoint here. We've still got quite a bit of way to go. You can see we've, we've made some good distance, though. Uh, let's check our fuel range again. We've got 110 minutes, 2,900 liters. I think we're going to be fine, to be fair. Uh, what's the difference between normal wings made with normal blocks and wings made with wing pieces? Wing pieces have lift. They provide lift in games. So, for example, if you use wing, if you don't use wing pieces and you kill your throttle on your engines of your plane, the plane is just going to sink like a rock. If you have wing pieces on on your plane and you kill your throttle, your plane will glide down onto the ground obviously depending on how much weight you have of course um but yeah you pretty much want to counter your weight with wing pieces and then the plane will glide uh and that's in theory how you can create gliders in stormworks it's not the best but you can create gliders in stormworks here which is pretty cool i'd get stormworks if i didn't have potato pc yeah it's, it requires so much cpu usage to be fair I've been playing a lot of um, Microsoft Flight Sim recently, and I thought I would get a terrible experience. But I'm actually getting 50 FPS. I have got medium to high graphics settings on a 2K monitor, uh, and it looks beautiful. I was expecting to get terrible. So, like, even Microsoft Flight Sim works better than no offense than Storm works on some computers. Um, so yeah, how old are you on YouTube? I have had this channel now for less than two years. I'm coming up to two years now in September. So when the major, when version one of Stormworks comes out, uh, it's going to be my channel is two years old, um, which is pretty cool. Stormworks needs gliding. Well, it needs better, it needs better aerodynam aerodynamics, I think. Uh, that's just my opinion. That is my opinion. Yeah, I play other things than Stormworks. I play Scrap Mechanic. I play... Uh, what else do I play? Macross Flight Sim. What else have I done videos on? I've done the Train Sim. Train Sim World 2020. Um, I do anything that I, I'm interested in. I don't find a point to play guy play games with you guys if I don't like it. If I don't think you guys are going to like it. Um, so anything, yeah, like si si you know, simulation or block building, sandbox kind of things I love. Um... Matthias, thank you very much for the sub, man. Much appreciated, as always. Um, cool. Let's see. Let's see how we get on here. I was looking. I was looking at getting maybe a twenty series, just to carry me through for like another month, uh, or another like two or three weeks. Um, but I think I'm I'm happy with the nine eighty at the moment. How it runs, by the way, for those of you that are wondering. Um, I have an i5 6600 and I've got 100 FPS on Stormworks. Yeah, well, it's the same as me. I'm running now and I have 82 FPS. Um, and when I spawn in the Creative Island, I have 160, 140 FPS. But as soon as you go and drop in a large creation, your FPS just tanks mostly. Uh, it's most the game mostly uses obviously. It's mostly single core, high frequency in comparison to multi-core low frequency so anything like a intel gaming chip with a high frequency like five gigahertz or more you're going to be rocking some good frames here in stormworks uh, obviously having a good graphics card is is a is a plus um for me my graphics card is not great at the moment because it's five years old or six years old so that's what keeps me from getting better fps um but we'll see i need i need new pc for microsoft flight sim 2020 yeah it, it, it does it does eat a lot of it actually eats quite a lot of CPU power, funny enough. You'll be surprised. Uh, we were talking about this last night. Uh, with I was talking with some of the mods, with Mr. Blob and Strunner and a few other guys. And um, 
even if you have a good GPU, it's actually heavily bound on, on uh, CPU, which is funny enough. Um, Jersey plays some Nautica sometime. I might. I might play. I haven't checked it out yet, so um, we'll see. Yeah, when you spawn long creation, you go in slow mode. So the game runs. So what's happening is your computer, your, your game is running in a higher FPS, but the actual physics of the game is running much lower, um, which is the issue here. That's the major issue that you're running at. So, yeah, you want to try and balance your, your GPU versus your CPU uh, and try to get better performance. A nice little view here. Got a little minute. Little moon. What's the time here in game? So we're now 5:30 in the morning. How far have we done our journey? I think we're about 40 k's in. If I'm correct, we still got 102. Yeah, we got plenty of range there. Wind speed's good. Outside air temperatures are at 9, 10. Happy days. Heaters are running. Don't have to worry about that getting cold here radio is good nice to actually try and find the um i think the actual railway is somewhere just here on our left if i'm correct what should be it's possibly over there we'll see in daytime as soon as now it comes daytime when the sun rises here in stormworks i uh, will see we'll see we'll see how we get on We'll see if we can see that railway. I think the railway is just on our left here. Because uh, these are some of the linking islands. We've got a wind turbine this there on the left too. Oh, we'll see. Got some more small, uh, smaller islands just scattered around the map. I can't actually get them on my big map. But you can see we've got some small scattered islands there. It's quite interesting to see these kind of islands all the way out here. But I think the railway is just over there. We can't actually get an eye on it. We could alter our course, though, since we only have one waypoint left. Um, I am going to alter our course, guys, to about there. So let's go and clear our waypoints. Let's get a new course in. Cool. So we're heading to our new course. And then we're going to head up to the Arctic from there. And get that new... Way pilot core, waypoint course in there. We should start to see hopefully the train line, the railway going up. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, we don't have 100 k's to go. Don't worry, guys. It's not that far. Maybe see the railway in a few minutes. Um, what setup do I use? What type? What do you mean by oh, setup? Like in terms of controls, or in terms of like computer specs? In terms of setup, let me know. Uh, Micro Flight Sim 2020 is overpriced, in my opinion. Uh, it depends. It's, it's. Pr I think it's priced towards enthusiasts. That's my opinion. It's not. It's not priced towards average players just wanting to jump in for an hour and just have a fly around. It's priced towards people that are spending hours upon hours upon hours in that game. Uh, then it's a, then it's a fair price. Um, because the the real the level of realism and detail on some of the things in it is really cool, um, but if you're just jumping in and wanting to go for a quick flight, then no, it's not worth sixty pounds or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that's what I'd say. Uh, the haze, yeah, we've got a little bit of. I think we've got fog. To be fair, let's see. No, we don't have any fog. I think it's just it's just time of the day. To be fair, yeah. This time of day, we've got a little bit of a little bit of haze. I think it's gonna go soon. You can kind of see we can see islands like that far in the distance, so we should be fine. Um, you can visit your house in game. Yeah, you can. I've done it already. I've done quite a lot of flights already. Um, Redstone freak, you love my channel. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I haven't tried DCS. I don't know. I don't know if I should try DCS. To be honest, I think that's a little bit advanced for my for my liking. I might. I might try it. Uh, I've heard a lot about it though. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Why is the sky on fire? Sky on fire. <laughs> this is the sun. This is the sun, man. It's not on fire. 
Um, where is this waypoint that we're going to? Somewhere over there, I think. Let's just zoom out. Let's see where this waypoint is. I think I'm zoomed out the maximum. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I think I am. Let's just go to the left there. Let's see where this waypoint is. Because we still haven't gone past the... Here's the, here's the railroad here. We're going to come past it. Oh, that's perfect. And we're going to go then fly along the the um, the railway up to the Arctic. That's almost 100% perfect. I've got that. Will you be able to use radar in storms? Uh, what do you mean, like this radar over here? Well, the thing is, this radar only picks up it only picks up objects. Oh, we're already starting to see some icebergs. Oh, so we must be getting closer now. Um, this this radar only picks up objects, so like other planes and things. It doesn't pick up buildings. It doesn't pick up anything. And that's the problem. Uh, the only way for you to create a radar that actually picks up like ground and stuff is to use a distance sensor or a laser sensor where it can measure what it's hitting. Whereas this radar that we have underneath the plane right now, over there, that only picks up other vehicles. That's the only thing. So yeah only picks up other vehicles and I think I've got a altitude sensor there, distance sensor, GPS, lights, radar, beacon finder and a camera and a few other things there but that's pretty much about it. Um, yep we're just on the railway here you guys can see that. Uh, our cargo is barely fitted in there you can see it's kind of struggling to get out of there at the back. Uh, fuel though we are pretty good we've used about what 400 liters of fuel and I think we're getting close to the Arctic here. We've done, I think we've done it probably about 40 Ks. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments. How how much you, how, much, how many Ks do you guys think we have left to go? Um, your controls, not your computer. Uh, controls, I use a, a flight, um, I use a joystick and a throttle controller, uh, which is the Thrustmaster. Uh, so it's got a joystick on my right uh, with a couple controls on it and then on the left hand side I have my throttle uh, which I use obviously for throttle and brakes and uh, trim and all that other kind of stuff um, I think I've got pretty much default joy default uh, controls in in uh, Microsoft Lightsim I don't think I've really changed anything uh, if I'm correct the only thing only thing I've changed is my hotkey to, to switch my camera modes so that's on my joystick so while I'm flying I can quickly switch to inside the plane outside the plane uh, which makes it much easier um, thanks for the update and for the record I have a water bottle and a water bottle and a half hours to go huh okay I don't know that one um, the no I have the I think I have the Thrustmaster X hot uh, hottest uh, controller it was the only one that was in stock for like same day pickup I couldn't get anything else I was looking at the um, x50 I think it was the x52 I think I was looking at the x52 and the x56 and then I was also looking at the warthog but those were all out of stock when I was looking at um, picking up the controller so I just went for anything I could find that was in stock uh, and I picked it up Will there be a float version of the plane? Um, no, just because Stormworks physics and Stormworks, I think you guys probably know what I mean when I say that, um, but it's Stormworks. It doesn't like, like to get a float plane, I would have to have the floats like triple the size of what they would need to be. Uh, the next live stream should be sinking a ship with two others and one Coast Guard, possibly. Uh, apparently we've got a mission here to transfer fish people, but we, we can't land anywhere here, so I'm not gonna do that. You think there's about 40k's left? Uh, 30k's, 40k's, yeah. So, I'm not too sure how far we got left. Let's go, how about this, should we go and check? So, Arctic flights. And let's go and... We have 35k's, so those of you that said 30 and those of you that said 40 was about 35 in between. So good job, you guys did a really good job on the on the calculation there. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I got my waypoints set in still. So I'm just gonna put a, I'm just gonna clear my waypoints and put a new waypoint in. Just make sure that's correct. Cool. Let's clear our waypoints here. 
remove waypoints, and we're just gonna untoggle, untoggle that. Cool, and we're just gonna head through there. Cool. Floodplains are the easiest in the storm works when you have uh, it floating hell like a flying boat. Yeah, so when you have a huge hell or huge floats, it's easy. But as soon as you as soon as you want to get like realistic floats on a plane, which are not that big, then no, it doesn't work because the planes the plane is theoretically too heavy, and the floats need to be triple the size of what they would be in real life. Um, Mr. Joji, I'm having trouble making a good hull for submarine. I'm going a future theme, got any tips? Uh, just re do some research, go find some 3D models, and then literally, it's a block building game. Like, just take some blocks and, and style it to make it look like, like the image that you're trying to reference. Um, yeah, I have 2,500 liters. Yeah, I've got more than enough fuel to get there. More than enough fuel. I think we've 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 paid off by conserving our fuel here. I'm actually just gonna increase our throttle here guys, so get there a little quicker. There we go, push the throttle all the way up. But you can see here, like I'm doing one forty two, if I change that down to ten, that's fourteen. We're still doing one forty two. Eleven. 142 10 okay then we drop so like 11 rps is is perfect there's no the, the difference between 11 rps and 20 rps is nothing absolutely nothing it doesn't make sense to run full tilt all the time to be fair for futuristic hell of submarine add lots of curves yeah you can but even a normal submarine will have a lot of curves on it Even a normal submarine, yeah, will have a lot of curves. Yeah, post it in, um, join my Discord, make sure... By the way, yeah, so with... The, sorry, when I was saying that, um, guys, if you haven't joined my Discord already, be sure to join. There is links in the video description. Awesome, awesome community. Everyone posts their pictures there. For those of you that are in that Discord, you guys will know it's awesome community. There's no screaming people and crying and shouting people just it's a nice community everyone just gets on and it's really cool so if you haven't joined the community join it uh you guys can post screenshots there's updates about videos there there's the challenges in my in my discord everything is in the discord so definitely join it uh if you haven't already and of course remember if you are a member here on youtube you get a special uh role uh, in the actual Discord server, and also if you're a patron, you also get a, dis a special role in the Discord. So that's a cool thing if you guys are joining the Discord. Cool. Um, does using a diesel, does using diesel as a coolant instead of water work? No, it just explodes the engine. It literally, just explodes your engine. We're not allowed to cry. Well, when I mean crying, like if you go into some Discord servers, it's just like it's absolute just. A mess. It's chaos. Whereas our server, thanks to our mods, is nice and controlled and really cool. Our server. But that's my opinion. I don't know. I like servers like that. Um, yeah, you can become a YouTube member. You can join my channel. I think it's uh, five pounds. It's nothing. And then you get uh, you get a special you get highlighted in the streams and you get a special role in Discord, which is pretty cool. So your name gets highlighted here on the stream when you chat and when you send messages and things, which is quite nice. Uh, but anyway, cool. I don't know where the mods are, Mr. Blob. Are you still around? Mods are usually in the streams. Okie dokie, so we're coming up to the Arctic, guys. Look at that. We've got a little bit of a first view of the Arctic here. Weather is quite nice. What's the time? So it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be dark when we when we go in for our landing at the um, airstrip. <laughs> More than likely. Um, but no, it's going good so far, guys. Hey, look at that! Parasodium! Welcome to the Creative Island. You are now a member, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
test. <laughs> yeah, test, test, test. Blob's having dinner. It's only 7.30. Oh, yeah, it's dinner. Uh, just alt tabbing, guys. Two seconds. There we go. Call back, sorry. Just alt tabbing out. Um, that's in Stormworks modding uh, forum, Discord for mods, if that's what you're talking about. No, I wasn't. I don't know, someone else was. Um, can you make a tutorial on effective cooling for engines? Literally just radiator. Like, you guys can see that. I've got two radiators for those aircraft engines. That's all I have. And it runs at 40 degrees. It's more... It's not the cooling that's the issue. It's the engine management of how you run your RPS. If you run your RPS nicely and you keep it level, then your engine's never going to overheat. But if you if you run your R engines at like 20, 30, 40 RPS constantly, your engines are going to overheat. Even if you have the best cooling in the world, your engines are still going to overheat. You can see we've got tons of fuel left there in the wings. More than enough. And we're coming up to the Arctic now. Yep, we got a little bit of the islands there. We got the main. We still don't have visual on the main island, I don't think. Just yet. Let's just go and check our maps here. Um, no, we're coming up to the main, the main, the main Arctic, which I think is down that direction. If I'm correct. I don't know if it's that big mountain there. I think it is actually. Hold on. Uh, let's go to our map here. Uh, yeah, we still got one waypoint left. Where are we, though, in comparison? Okay. Oh, wow, we, guys, we are actually at the Arctic now. So, I'm going to disable our systems here, and I'm going to put ourselves into joystick mode, and we're going to start actually checking on what's going on here. So, let's go and let's actually get our landing lights and stuff on. It seems that we're going to be landing soon. Cool, and let's go and have a look here. So... Oh wow, there's the airstrip, like literally just below us, guys. So we're going to go and do a bank around here. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to disable our flight stabilizer, stabilizer. So I can actually turn the plane properly here. So let's go and get ourselves lined up here. And we're going to go and turn around for that airstrip, which is just over there on the right hand side. Cool. Running at full throttle now going to start banking around for that turn into into the airports <laughs> it blobs back does the uh, arctic help cooling uh, i don't think it does no at the moment wink wink nudge nudge no it doesn't at the moment first time you've seen someone gets the arctic without teleportation well the thing is you teleport here you need to discover it first um, let's just have a little bank around here, probably lower our nose, turn, try and keep it turned here, nose up. Uh, we're going to be turning just to the right here, and we should see the airstrip in a few seconds. Yep, there's the airstrip just going there. I wish the airstrips would be lit up properly, because, like, I know there's an airstrip there, but that's almost impossible to see the airstrip. Like, that's hard to see that airstrip. And while we're going, we're going to get our flaps down. Cool. And you guys can see the flaps are not down. It should slow us down a bit when we're going in for this landing. We've got more than enough runway, so I'm not really too worried, to be fair. Yeah, let's go. And we're going to start bringing our throttle down and our nose down here. Keep it nice and level, probably gets throttled down quite a bit more now. Start losing our altitude, start losing speed. We've got up. We do have that. Oh, we need some more throttle. Throttle, 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 throttle. We dropped a lot of altitude there. For some reason, we almost stood. I think we stalled it. It's fine, let's drop our throttle now. There we go. Oops, and boom, on the runway. Oh. Those flaps are not useful at all. Not at all. Flaps up, man. Let's get the throttle down. Got four RPS on this. That, yeah, flaps up. 
Let's get brakes off. Let's get our throttle up. Let's actually start taxiing out of here. And get off this runway. Or try to at least. And turn the plane. Uh, I probably need some ground steering too. There we go. That would probably help me. There we go. Not the smoothest of landings, but we managed to get it. Those flaps were not easy to work with, especially with obviously using a joystick now. Let's go and just bring ourselves in here. We can load off this cargo that we have. Turn around here. Our range is perfect. We only used we only used like a thousand liters of fuel to get here, and we have three thousand. We could fly, we could fly, guys. We could fly back down to Sawyer and fly back again and still have enough fuel. I think. I'm almost certain. Cool. And we're going to stop the plane here, I think. Uh, let's go and jump out of joystick mode. We'll get everything, all of our systems off. We're going to throttle down, engines off. Cool, engine off. Let's get our... Wheel lights, landing lights, everything off, strobe, navigation, brakes are on, flaps good, we'll get our seatbelt sign, no smoking, avionics off, keep that all on, let's get our battery off, actually we'll probably leave our battery on to be fair so I can actually see what we're doing. We'll turn the battery off in a few minutes I think, let's actually get out, engines are off, that's perfect, let's get this poor cargo out. <laughs> <laughs> of the plane and we'll put it over here for now poor cargo was squashed in there we still have another two crates that we didn't get because we couldn't fit it in the plane but that's fine just, just call it a ups shipment some got there some didn't um and yeah that's it that's the little that's all done got the cargo done planes done happy days Little Twinata did a good job, I think. I don't know. What have you missed? Brad, what's going on, man? Welcome. You've just missed like a whole flight from, from the crates of Ireland all the way up to the Arctic. So you've missed quite a bit. Um, full range, you need to limit control. Do not use that uh, in the build limits. It burns more fuel. Okay, I don't know if you're talking to me. Um, cool. Dr. Sam, they produce drag. Yeah, so the flaps do produce drag to slow the plane down, but it just slowed me down way too much. Um, but once again, I was using I was using a, a controller, so not everyone would be using a controller for this. So they'll be using keyboard mouse. Might be a little bit easier uh, here in Stomachs. In New Jersey, I game on a Mac. That's fine. If you game on a Mac, Macs work. There's something wrong with Macs. I just don't prefer them. I prefer uh geronimo uh, ils yeah we could add an ils to this plane uh but i don't know i like to keep it quite simple to be fair i might do another plane with another ils system uh but we'll see mr new jersey do you know if we get a new map no comment can't say anything don't know don't know um put on the other train and ship uh to go back to the soy islands <laughs> air base <laughs> Uh, we could, yeah, we could take a train down there. It'll take too long, I think. Plane is the quickest way. We could take a jet down there. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah. It does. It helps guide the person down down there. Yeah, I know. Um, cool. So, I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Um, I've got a f working on one vehicle. You guys have probably seen some screenshots. Let me know in chat now if you guys can take a guess what I'm about to show you uh so i'm not going to tell you exactly what it is right now i'm also going to change the daytime here cool so i'm going to load the vehicle up and in the meantime it's going to switch screens and you guys i need you guys to let me know in chat what do you think the vehicle is i'm about to show you but i do need to switch screens though so I'll back now give me two seconds guys and uh, let me just load in the vehicle and cool the vehicle has been loaded in and i can switch you guys back now cool and let's get chat back happy days cool you guys should be able to see that now um sky tank uh, i bet it's a jet i hope it's a torpic what's a torpic uh no your engine should be run now it's a plane 
polar bears polar bears would be fun uh a single otter <laughs> my emergency vehicle big cargo plane uh it's a plane it's a bird uh electric charging car emergency vehicle yeah so it is an emergency vehicle uh it is my the uni truck uh, that I've been working on. Let's actually open the gates here and I'll show you guys what this looks like. So let's open that and get the lights on. Um, so it's my uni mog that I've been working on. It's a fire truck. Pretty much, yeah. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Um, still, It's still a work in progress, guys. But I've worked on... So for example, we have a nice little gate here, which has got some equipment in it. That you can go and open all the equipment up and access this. So it's a, it's a rescue truck. Uh, we also have some... What's on this side? I forgot now. Nothing in here yet. Uh, here we have some fueling systems that we're going to be using. You can see we've got some hoses, we've got a winch, and we've got all the fuel systems and things that are going to be stored in there. Um, I don't know what I'm putting in here yet. I'm not too sure what should be in there, but you guys can let me know in chat what we should get in there. Um... And then we have the actual vehicle itself. Uh, there's obviously a ladder at the back that you can go and climb to get up on the top. We've got like a almost like a fake ladder uh, on the top of the vehicle there. Uh, and then, yeah, just the vehicle. So as I said, it's still a work in progress. There's a little winch here that we're going to be able to use and get connected up. Uh, let's go and get inside it. So close it here. Pretty straightforward. Like this is just all WSAD. So you key button, turn on. We've got reverse, disable four wheel drive, lights, spotlights, interior lights, and emergency lights. So interior lights are quite straightforward. Emergency lights are my favorite. So you can see it actually flashes between the two. Just a simple breaker uh, and some just some logic that goes and flashes those lights. And you will notice that at the front there's also the emergency lights, which I like. Uh, we also have uh, side spotlights on either side. Quite nice. And then we have the front lights, as you can see there. There's some nice front lights, and then the back lights. So we've got a parking light, and if you put the brakes on, you can see the light goes on there at the back, which is pretty cool. Um, how does it drive? Let's get the emergency lights off. Emergency lights. Uh, it drives quite well, to be fair. It's all automatic gearbox. I think we've got about six gearboxes in here. It's all automatic gearbox. It's got a... Um, Steering system in there also to limit the steering adaptive steering system in there So it limits the steering depending on how fast you go and you can see the brake lights coming on there uh, By default is on four-wheel drive by default if you want you can always disable it and go to two wheel, two wheel which I think brings it to Front wheel drive if I'm correct, um, but it's pretty good. It's not the quickest vehicle guys that you're gonna find ever um, In Stormux, it just it just is a nice emergency response vehicle uh, that you can use to get around with as i said nothing nothing quick it's not going to do high speeds but it just works it's all wsad controls uh and it pretty much can do anything you want as i said it's still a work in progress i still need to fill out the interior and a few other things but more or less like the drive system is done there is the occasional oversteer and understeer issue that i get with it like you can see there it just likes to steer to the left or the right um, that's something to do with four-wheel drive, and I don't know. It still works. It just sometimes doesn't like to do things. Um, so that's something I'm working on to try and fix. I also think it could be some ghost, some ghost physics going on in the creation because, like, if I set it straight here, it will just turn to the left. If I set it straight here, it will just turn to the right. So something to do with ghost physics. If I turn off the four-wheel drive, it gets a little better. But it's still not it's still not perfect um, but it does work as i said high speed not its best it's more of a low speed vehicle uh if anything and we can just go and we'll turn off the road here if we don't crash it like we just did um we could uh, we could actually flip it back up hold on let me just flip it back up quickly and it's quite easy to flip it back up we just open up one of the hatches Uh, that was the other direction. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to flip it up then. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little truck um, to run around with and do some rescue missions. It's not designed for the Arctic. It's more designed for Soy Islands. 
uh, but if you guys watched the update video today, you would have seen the truck today uh, in there. But um, yeah, you guys let me know. I, I need some suggestions. I need to know what we're going to put into these hatches. Like, I know this is going to be for hoses and things. This is going to be for equipment. Same on this side. And I just don't know what to put in these two big front hatches. Uh, maybe when we get the update, we can put some first person equipment in here. But um, I don't know. You guys let me know what, what you think we should put in here in the com obviously in the chat. I can't say what's coming in future updates. Well, I don't. I know as much as you guys. I know what's. I know what's coming from announcements. Um, I know what's coming. Probably need to sort out the differential on. Yeah, I don't know. I need to still work on it. Look for penguins. I've disabled penguins. I don't have any animals in game. Uh, empty until 1.0. Yeah, that's what I think too. Empty 1.0, and then we can put some first kind of person equipment and see what stuff we're gonna get. Foldable chairs. <laughs> what to watch the fire <laughs> burn down the building? Um, <laughs> watch the fire burn down the building. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to show you guys. To be fair, uh, to play around with, this is quite straightforward. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to show you. Let me see. Let me see if I've got something else to show you guys. Let's bring it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Don't think I have anything. Uh, I can show you the Arctic plane. That's the only other thing I guess I can show you guys. I don't have anything else that's ready to be shown yet. Um, yeah, I can show you the Arctic plane that I'm working on. Uh, so it's the twin. It's the twin Arta, just an Arctic version of it. Uh, let's just go and switch you guys back to that and get shut up again. So that's the Arctic. This is the British Arctic Survey version of the twin Arta. You can see the resemblance. Exactly. The only difference is we have um, we have some skis now on this version, and this version has reverse thrust, of course. Um, you need reverse thrust when you have skis where you doesn't have any brakes um, But pretty much identically the same just a red version obviously. Oh, I added this feature So we could put some more cargo in here if we wanted to um, So yeah, we could put some more cargo if we needed to here um, But yeah, I added a folding nose, which I think is pretty cool. Otherwise everything else is the same same interior It's got everything else in it that we usually see with the plane uh i think everything on the wings yep everything else was the same uh cockpit was the same well you'll see guys how this one takes off and how well it lands uh so i'm actually going to fly using keyboard and mouse this time we're not going to use throttle uh and the controller so i'm just going to get rid of the throttle controller so we're going to use keyboard and mouse to fly this plane um and i'll show you guys how this one works a little bit differently to the other one so we'll get avionics battery power on this plane is going to be an issue for me um but that's fine we can get that system off we can disable the flight stabilizer get some lights on and the seatbelt that's miking okay so if we go and do manual control this time so you can notice that i can actually change the ski like that and the rudder at the back too can be changed. Oh, I've added some extra ropes on this one compared to the other one. Uh, so let's go and see if we can just move out of the hangar here without actually colliding with that plane. Considering we don't really have any good steering options on this plane. But we do have reverse thrust on this plane, which is quite a cool feature. So I'm actually going to enable the reverse thrust. So we should be somewhat moving back now. Let's just get throw up. We should start moving backwards. Yep, there we go. We can move backwards. So the reverse thrust is quite a nice little feature on this plane. Cool. And let's go and angle ourselves out again. We'll try and avoid this plane here without hitting it. I think we're going to hit it in any case. Uh, let's get our throttle up and we'll take off here. And I'll show you guys how this one actually stops. Cool. So where shall we land? Let's go and do a nice big landing. 
So we'll turn around. How about this? We'll turn around and we'll land on that little glacier there. That's more than enough space to land, uh, I think. Unless there's... Is the Arctic Research Place around here? I think it is... No, it's not. Okay. So that's fine. So we'll go around and we'll just do a nice little landing over on that one island. Now it feels weird using keyboard and mouse to fly the plane compared to compared to using um, the controller a few minutes ago. So let's go and angle ourselves down. We're going to go land on that little piece of Arctic ice that's floating. That should be more than enough for us. Because we've got the reverse thrust here on this plane, we should be fine. Uh, let's just make sure we got all our systems on. This is at full. Cool, we're going to be landing just over there. We can probably get our flaps up also, but I think we're going to be fine, to be fair. Uh, we can come in for a nice smooth landing. Start decreasing our throttle. Decrease throttle again. Decrease throttle. Decrease throttle and let's touch down and reverse thrust. And just like that, we landed. So you don't need much space to land this little Arctic, little Arctic one. He's quite, he's quite powerful in terms of the reverse thrust. The reverse thrust is adding so much, so much to it, uh, but it does have the tendency, <laughs> as you can see, to uh, want to go forward. I uh, sorry, lean, lean. There we go. Now we can stop him again. Um, he does have a tendency to a little bit lean ever so slightly to the back. He's a little bit back heavy, but he's on a slope, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, this is the um, Arctic version of my plane. I don't know. You guys let me know in the let me know in chat if you guys like this one. I know I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, Jersey made a tutorial about it. Yeah, I did. Jan Pro, hey, what's going on, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um. Cool. So guys, we're we're finishing up for for this little live stream. I know it's been um it's been a little small one, but um let me know guys in chat if you want to see a live stream uh, possibly tomorrow, um and what you would like to see in the live stream. Let me know in mm -hmm. the comments. I'm not going. What's that noise? I think it's music. Um, yeah. Let me know guys in chat. Do you guys want to see another live stream this weekend? Uh, I think I'm happy to do one. I think I might do another Stormworx live stream and maybe another flight sim, a flight sim live stream. Um, but yeah, let me know. Also, let me know if you want me to put this this Arctic uh, survey version over on the workshop. Um, yes, live stream. Yeah, I know. Live streams are fun. I haven't done one ages with you guys. It's been forever that I've done. I haven't done a live stream. Um, building the truck and the live stream. I don't have that much left to do on the truck, so I don't feel like it's worth a live stream. I'm thinking of doing a new vehicle and a new build series, but whether I'll do a build series live or if we're going to do a build series in a video, I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But I think, yeah, we should do a live build. But um, you guys jump on the Discord. Let me know. I uh, call it the NJ81 Otter. Well, this is the NJ... I think it's got the same tag. It's the 51 um this has got the same tag as the other otter um so we need to, i do need to change it but we might do we might do some flights some uh tomorrow and then maybe on sunday we'll do some stormworks live streams but we'll see uh twin otter firefighting version maybe maybe i might do another plane i do have my eye on another plane that i'm thinking about but um i don't know you guys will know soon enough uh live stream sawyer to arctic driving how, how do we drive the only way to drive there is to go on the train tracks um so i don't it's it's a straight line it's not fun to drive there ship going on a ship is a little bit more better uh, i think to be honest um i think going on a ship is much better to get up to the arctic it's a lot of fun especially if you have weather if you have weather enabled where it's completely random, then it's fine. But guys, um, I think we're going to end it there for today's live stream. Um, it's been a lot of fun and it's been nice to chat with you guys again. Um, Ethne, obviously keep an eye out for some more live streams, more videos on my channel. 
Uh, we're going to be obviously ramping up to version 1 release in 4 weeks time and there's going to be a lot more content uh, coming along the way uh, before and even after the version 1 comes out so definitely keep an eye on the channel for that. Um, but yeah guys thank you very much for joining in this little live stream. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to hit that like up, that thumbs up. Uh, the video obviously it helps support the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure to obviously click the bell icon. You guys don't miss any of my channel uh, videos that come out. And if you haven't already, join my Discord. Link is in the video description. Guys, take care, look after yourselves, and we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.